Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just filmed my try on clothing haul for you guys and since I already have my camera and my lights and everything out, I figured now would be the perfect time for me to go ahead and treat my pochette Matisse. I'm gonna lay everything out here on my little table here. I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I treat. I'm gonna spray with Apple Guard my pochette Matisse, like the pochetta leather. And I know there's a lot of controversy about this. There's some people that have commented on my videos because they, they saw that I was gonna do this, saying like, ah, don't ever do it. But there's so many people that comment saying that they that's all they do, they love what they love that product, the Apple Guard spray, not the not the stuff you paint on, but the actual spray. I really researched a lot, and everyone seems to say that it does not darken the patina. Over time, it's, the patina still does darken like it would normally, but it doesn't like speed up the process at all. Um, but then it obviously does if you would get caught in the rain or if something would happen and you have an accident it does prevent watermarks like really, really well. And I guess for me, when I have a bag that has Vachetta, I just I'm always on edge with it, like I never feel like I'm fully relaxed. And since I love my Prochette Matisse so much, I just wanna be able to carry it a little bit more carefree. And I understand there's not like, you know, tons of Vachetta on that bag, but there's still enough for me on the handle and that's kind of like a main focal point for me with that bag, like I love the handle. I think it looks so beautiful. So if there's like stains on it, I will be so upset. Like I will seriously be so upset. So I think for me as a person, and obviously if you guys have this bag or any other bag, you can you know assess that yourself and your personality and how you care for your bags so you just do whatever you want to do it's totally your decision but for me I just think that if I treat it and again I've never done this before but if I treat it with this bag I really think it will make me use the bag more and I will truly enjoy it more so with that said I am going to go ahead and lay out um some paper towels and kind of get everything ready and then I will film how I do it and then I'm also going to let it dry. I think I'm gonna do two coats because that's what everything I see that you should do two coats. I will kind of do a time lapse in this video. I'll let it dry and everything and I will you know, show you at the end. I'm gonna definitely wait a couple of days before I kind of check back in with you guys for you guys to see how it looks. So I hope this video is very helpful to you guys. Um, if you, I don't know, I think there's a lot of people out there kind of not sure whether they should do this or not, and hopefully this video helps. Um, I don't want to like ruin anyone anyone's bag, so this is obviously just my experience with it, and I pray to God it doesn't ruin mine, but I really am confident that it's not going to. So anyway, yeah, let's get right into this little DIY treating Louis Vuitton Pochetta video. Okay, so here is my lovely Pochette Matisse, and as you can see, the Pochetta leather on the handle is, is still very light, and then here is the little front tab here, that needs to be treated as well. And this is the product that I'm gonna be using. It is the Apple brand Rain Guard, and there are different versions of this, but this is the spray, and I think that's the difference. I think a lot of people have used like the kind you paint on or you kind of like rub on to the leather, and that has been known to darken the Vachetta a little bit, whereas this does not. At least that's through all the research and experiences that I have learned about. This seems like it is definitely the best and you just spray it on and it does not affect the patina, but it does prevent um, you know, watermarks and stains and stuff like that. But just keep in mind, it definitely still allows the Vachetta to patina over time, so don't think it's gonna stay light forever. Just as normal Vachetta patinas over time, even if you spray it with this, it still will happen. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep my bag before I spray it. I'm just gonna kind of like line everything with paper towels so that I'm you know, not spraying the entire canvas with this. So I'm just gonna try and do that and then I will kind of fast forward and we'll get started. But as you can see here, hopefully you can see, this is so makeshift, clearly I'm not like a DIY person, but I basically just kind of did like a little operation with the paper towel and I kind of like taped the paper towels around it. And I know that this rain guard, it does not ruin canvas or anything, like it can easily be wiped off. I just didn't want to spray the canvas directly, I guess. Now I am going to go ahead and spray the canvas. It does say on the directions to spray it six to nine inches from the surface and like in a sweeping motion and um, you know don't obviously soak soak it but just make sure that everything is covered and you, I am going to do it twice but I'm going to let the first layer dry and then I'm going to wait like about half an hour to maybe an hour and then I'm going to spray it again okay so I'm just going to go ahead and do this pray to god everything goes okay oh and it stinks it definitely stinks I did it and it definitely darkened it. Do not worry, it dries and it comes back. I can already tell that it is, is lightening again. 
Like it's coming back. So don't freak out even though there's probably people freaking out right now. I'm gonna do it a little bit more just because I didn't get the side here quite well and it's starting to come up here. Okay, I think I got it good. I can already tell that it's lightening back up, so I'm really not that worried about it. And look, even in literally, it's been like 10 seconds, you can already tell that this, it's already lightening back up because it's kind of like drying really quickly. So now I'm gonna take off the paper towel, I'm gonna do the front little um, buckle piece. Okay, so I have a little, the little tab peeking out here, and I am just gonna go ahead and spray it really quickly. Sorry if it's hard for you guys to see, I just don't wanna get the metal sprayed. So let's see here, I'll move my hand. Perfect, looks good to me. And it, it seriously, like it gets dark for literally like five seconds, and then it immediately, it immediately dries really quick, and then it's light again. And here's just another quick look of the handle that I just sprayed and it's it looks perfect. Okay guys, I am back and it's definitely been more than 30 minutes to an hour. It's actually been quite a few hours, probably like three or four. I just kind of got caught up doing stuff around the house. But I am back now and as you can see, the Vachetta here, it seriously looks completely brand new. It's still very, very light everywhere. I do not think it's darkened at all. So I am extremely, extremely happy about that. I really thought that would be the case. I really wasn't worried about it, but um, yeah. So I am gonna go ahead and tape up the bag again, not tape the bag, but like tape around the Vachetta again and spray a second coat. You just wipe off the metal here. I'm going to go to bed pretty soon, actually, within the next two hours. So I'm probably not going to check back with you guys until tomorrow. But I will definitely check back and we can see the final product and just verify and double check that this bag still looks in pristine condition. So I will see you or talk to you guys tomorrow. Hello, everybody. So I am back. It has been a full two days since I sprayed this Apple Rain Guard. And I have to say that I think my Pachette Matisse looks fabulous. Um, I'm very, very happy. There are no spots. There's no weird marks or anything. The patina is still extremely light. I think it looks exactly the same as it did before. Everything still looks really good. And here's the front flap. I'm still obviously not going to grab this bag if it's pouring down rain outside. But hypothetically, if I were to leave the house, and it's fine and then say I'm at the store or I'm shopping or whatever and then all of a sudden it starts to sprinkle or it does start to rain my bag is now more protected than it would have been otherwise. This obviously is your decision, not like, you can just decide what you wanna do. Obviously some people really don't like to spray their bags and I never have before, like I mentioned before, but I guess I just feel like I love this bag so much that I just don't want weather and I just don't wanna, you know, hesitate to grab it. Like I wanna be able to wear it whenever I want and like I said, if it's pouring down rain, I'm not gonna grab it. But otherwise, I'm just, I'm not gonna be scared. Like I'm not gonna have to check the weather every single time I leave the house. And side note, before I sign off, I did just wanna quickly tell you the tiniest little story. Many of you know that I did return my original Pochette Matisse because of the crooked um, lock or S lock or whatever. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I got a phone call from Client Services or Louis Vuitton because I had shipped it back. And they told me, they specifically called to tell me that there was absolutely nothing wrong with my bag and they obviously were refunding me, but there was nothing wrong with the bag. And I just wanna tell you guys that because you guys all agreed with me that it was definitely crooked. And I was like, what the heck? Like, it, it was crooked. Like, I'm not, I don't know. They, they didn't make me feel dumb, but they, in a way they kind of made me feel dumb. So I was just like, I don't know. Anyway, I don't even know if I'm gonna leave this in the video, but I just wanted to tell you guys that really quick story and at least I have you guys on my side and you guys all agreed with me, so I'm not totally crazy. I hope this has helped you guys and maybe answered some questions and maybe even um, squash some fears about spraying and treating the Vachetta. So anyway, if anyone has any questions or whatnot, definitely leave them in the comment section below. As time goes on, if I have any other thoughts about this, like as I'm carrying this bag, I definitely will update you guys, but I'm really crossing my fingers that this kind of like, you know, really helps with the watermarks and everything. Stay tuned for my future videos and I'll see you really soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.